<clears throat> Hi folks, this is John Skill here, driving and videotaping. <laughs> I bought my wife this, I bought her this awesome car, and um, I drive a Cadillac, as most of you know, I drive a nice SRX, badass. This here, it's a Volkswagen, I've never owned a Volkswagen before, but um, I find myself driving it more and more. I mean, it's not really even like my size. It's one of them there, Beatles. I don't even know what year it is. I thought it was an 03. The title apparently says it's an 05. So who the hell knows? Haircuts looking all right. I got my hair slicked back. I figure less must if I, you know, I'm driving with the top down on a convertible, but um, I love this car, and it's no secret. I mean, look at this thing. Not a bad little vehicle. It's a sharp little ride. It's got a friggin' turbo engine. A friggin' turbo! A friggin' turbo! Drives nicely. Hey, there's Nicky Nice Teeth house. Oh, not Nicky Nice Teeth. I'm sorry. Sticky Nikki's house right there, folks. Looks like it's for sale. Looks like Sticky Nikki's family's moving. Oh, yeah. My wife knocked our teeth out. That's why I have monster teeth. My wife was pulling the stick out of the Dyson the other day. Bam! Knocked me in the fucking teeth. Knocked all my fucking teeth out. You know, I look like Cotton Eye Joe. Be my blue guy, not do. I've been married long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Guy, not do. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And she's like, your eyes aren't open. Why are your eyes always closed? My eyes are not always closed. I'm an old man. I have a lazy eye. I guess my eyes do look closed all the time. I can assure you, folks, my eyes are not closed. My eyes are wide the frig open. As I navigate this turn ever so slightly. Yeah, folks, this car handles like a motherfucking dream. And it's got a turbo. It's got a turbo. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's got a fucking turbo. Look at this. Woo hoo hoo. We're driving like fast, like going fast, like breaking the law, breaking the law. Thanks for having me on that fast. Oh shit. So let's do 30 rounds this turn. Woo hoo hoo. Look at me go. Look at me go, Mr. McGill. Hoo hoo hoo, Mr. McGill. Oh shit. Here I go. I'm in my car. I'm driving in my Volkswagen Beetle. Not my Volkswagen Beetle. I bought this car for my wife. She needed a new car. Our other car got stolen. See you know what I did? You know what I did? You know what we did? We begged somebody to give us money because we're poor. Because we're poor white trash and we can't afford a car. And it's sad. And we put on these facades like we're doing so well. We're not. We're not doing well. We're doing horribly. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry poor like the rest of the barbers. Stop that fucking stop sign. Let's look this car over, folks. Not a bad little car, finally detailed. Not a bad little whip, right? It's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't think it's bad. I like the car. Never owned the Volkswagen. My father was a German teacher for 35 years. All my siblings speak German and Italian. That beep is incessant. Drives me fucking nuts. My father was a German teacher. He taught German at Archbishop Ryan High School for Boys for 35 years. He taught at Archbishop Wood, another high school, but it was co-ed. When I went to Archbishop Ryan, it was an all-boys school, and it was a homosexual breeding ground if I ever saw one. If I ever saw one. That school was a homosexual breeding ground. And I don't care. I like homosexuals. Two of my best friends are gay. Hey, Billy, shout out to my boy Billy, DJ Billy, Billy Yak, aka DJ Billy. Hey, shout out to you, motherfucker. <laughs> well, folks, I'm driving back to my barbershop, our barbershop, Sean Burns' barbershop. Who knows whose barbershop? But, um, 
just wanted to give a little skinny on how much I like this car. I need a nap. My teeth are fucked up. I haven't slept in days. I sleep for a few hours. I'm awake for a few hours. My wife yells at me. I yell at myself. The voices in my head scream at me. They're screaming at me, man. They're fucking screaming. They're like, drive this car off a cliff, Johnny. Actually, that's not what they said. Because when I talk to myself, I refer to myself as Jack. Yes, that's right, folks. I refer to myself as Jack. So I'm having a conversation with myself. And I'm, and I, you know, I make that poignant remark. I make that poignant face. So I'm like, hmm, Jack. Hmm. What do you think about that, Jack? I think you're pretty fucked up, John. That's what I think. I think mean, anybody who drives around in a white Volkswagen Beetle with, holy shit, my eyes do look closed. Why do my eyes always look closed? Why does the fucking bell go off? But if I open the door and slam it, it stops. So what the fuck is up with that? So we're going down Centennial. That's where Tom Hartenbauer lived. He was an asshole. My haircut prices were a certain price. He would always give me the price that they weren't. And then the one time that I actually say something to him, because I don't want to hold his dirty hearing aids, because of the enemy's hearing aids, I noticed some of these old men in this town, crotchety old fucks, you know? Not all of them, some of them. But, um, my good friend Tom Snyder, I'm sure some of you remember, I was pissing and moaning about, you know, how he died, and I was a close friend. And people were like, John, he was 90. Who gives a fuck that he was 90? He was my fucking friend. I love Tom Snyder. He's my fucking friend. There's his house right there. That's where his son lives. And that's his house. And was his house, you know. But, you know, I'm not supposed to fucking mourn. Tom was a very good friend of mine. Very good friend. I didn't like many people. I like Tom Snyder. He was a very close friend of mine. I loved him, in fact. His son came into the barber shop today and gave me some of his personal affects. I was so moved, I tried to hold it together. As soon as he left, I broke down into tears because Tom was a very good friend of mine and I miss him. And I just, you know, anybody I've seen the love just fucking dies. I can't stand it, man. I can't. He was a Tom, he was like 90 years old, but he was fucking great. He was a fucking awesome dude. I considered him a friend and a contemporary. We were on the same page with a lot of stuff. But, um, I don't know, folks. I don't know even why I got into this rant. But Tom's nice. son was nice enough. He gave me his dad's letter from when he went to Schwenksville High. You know, it was like, letterman, letter, letter, letter and a couple of his draft cards and some other personal affects. I thought it was very nice. It was very nice. Hey, it only took me 8 minutes and 24 seconds to get from Goose's to John's Old School New School Barbershop. That's not bad for a guy with a helmet on his head. Anyway, folks, my eyes are open. Despite... Despite contrary popular belief. My eyes, they are open. My glasses, dirty as fuck. Alright folks, I'm going to go in and uh, cut some hair. Wait a second, am I cutting hair? Let me know what day it is. No, I'm going in to clean. That's what I'm doing. I'm going in to clean the barber shop. I've lost it at this point. I've lost my friggin' ever-loving mind. See you, folks. See ya. See ya, see ya. Sure want to be. Oh, yeah, look at this. Representing my boys out of Chicago. Hey, all you barbers out there. Send me a shirt. Double X. I get around a lot. I go a lot of places. People see what I wear. It's one of my favorite shirts, my Peace Barber Shop in Chi-Town. I ain't never been to this fucking Chi-Town place, but I hear it's a real nice place. I hear it's hard as fuck to navigate, though. But, um, send me a shirt. 546 Main Street, 19473, Pennsylvania, USA. What the fuck are y'all waiting for? 
Get all that shit. I am the man with the x-ray eyes. My eyes are open, folks, which I totally don't understand.